everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and we are pro touring today, right? You say, well, Tony, that's pro touring. Uh, so many people talk about pro touring, but like, what does it actually mean? Or for me, it means this, and so other people say that, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what my interpretation of pro touring means. It means that we have a beautiful, classic muscle car, but with so many upgrades, it makes it so that you can drive it for long distances and enjoy it versus maybe just an old school matching numbers the way it rolled off the showroom floor. Both cars are great. It's a matter of what you want. In this case here, we're gonna look, we're gonna walk around this car, we're gonna see a lot of money spent. Matter of fact, this is why you buy a car like this. You don't build the car yourself because you never get hardly any of it back. You buy it, let someone else do all the work, let them enjoy it for a little bit. It's still in incredible condition, right? And then you benefit from saving uh, all of that on that car. So that's really where we are today. This has great paint and all kinds of things on it. The cool last piece about what we're gonna talk about is customizing and finishing it on your own, right? Doing whatever little touches that you wanna do to make it your own, and that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so we've listed this as Cortez Silver Paint. I think it's a little bit darker than that, right? And uh, here's another great thing about it. While we're talking about personalization of cars, it looks great just like it is. However, if you wanted to, we could add the Z28 stripes that are on here, right? This has uh, the split bumper already for the RS package, right? With these extensions here. A lot of people say, well, what makes an RS whatever? Well, it's mostly a styling thing. But here, we could add the Z28 stripes on here and the back. That would be pretty cool, all right? And then if you wanted to change the wheels and tires, some people love the flush look, some people like the deep dish look. We can swap out and make it whatever you want. Again, customizing it for a couple small little things that makes it yours. Lastly, we want to talk about the quality of paint because when you get this car, you want it to be shiny. You want to go to a car show. You want people to come up and go, wow, that's a really amazing looking car. And that's what we're going to do right now. What I want you to see when we do this is this, is I want you to see the ceiling here in the paint, right? You can see it crisp and clear. I want you to be able to read these letters crisp and clear because when people take pictures of cars, they can make them look whatever they want to, but the video, we can't do that, right? We gotta, we're gonna see it just like you were seeing if you were here, so let's check that out real quick. So check this out here. Like when we're talking about it, we're talking about seeing in every single letter that's in there, we could read that. Right? You can see the lighting in the in the showroom here above. You can see the ceiling joists in there because we have this kind of industrial look ceiling in here which looks really cool. I'm glad it's shown up in here. It's been professionally show detailed, meaning three-step paint process, waxed, detailed, ready to go for you to get in and go for a drive. All right, so what we want to do here is see where another $20,000 is spent, right? Let me just show you what I'm talking about. First off, you gotta have to have a cowl hood on this car. Why? Because there's a lot of horsepower under there and it needs some room, right? A flat hood would never work with this car and here's why, right? This even has a low uh, high rise, sorry, a low rise on a high rise intake uh, air cleaner on there so it fits inside here, which gets the cold air to come in, the fresh cold air there. But in here we have like billet pulleys. And you say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about billet pulleys? Well, a billet pulley costs 10 times the price of a stamped steel pulley. You say, oh, wow, that doesn't make for a pro touring. Agreed, agreed, agreed. However, it's these little details that add up to huge amounts of money. For instance, painting the inner fender liners, people will say, Here's what I get all the time. People say, wow, that's a great looking car, but you don't know why it's a great looking car. Let me show you why it's a great looking car. This, all painted inside here, where normally it would have come from the factory, all satin black. Now it's painted all gloss, right? All of the pieces in here are uh, a billet. So from the pulleys to the valve covers, this has the chrome brake upgrade in here. This is a giant champion radiator with dual electric fans built into the radiator, right? That, this thing right here costs $2,000, plus an additional fan in the front because it has air conditioning to push the air through and then the others to pull the air uh, right out the back. I get excited about this because we do a lot of this work here and it's very expensive and it takes a really long time. And the simple fact of the matter is you could be driving this car this weekend if you wanted to. All right, so what you can't see uh, from up top here is what it looks like following this car because it's pretty fascinating. A lot of people are gonna be following it because they won't be able to pass it. 
Having said that, all of it is detailed under the rear end is painted a nice color. The gas tank is different. The straps are different. The bolt colors are different. It looks very detailed from behind and looks very nice. Here we have new chrome stainless. The paint looks great. Remember we talked about if you wanted to add some stripes in here. This has a custom package tray back here. You say, Tone, oh, uh, how does that make a Pro Touring car? Well, a Pro Touring car means stereo, right? Stereo has to have a, a really nice stereo. It has to have upgraded brakes, wheels and tires, air conditioning, like convenient uh, features in it. Well, when we look in here, okay, we go, wow, this is more than nice. This has a carpeted trunk. They didn't come with carpet in the trunks, right? Here's a kicker subwoofer in here, all part of the digital sound system. New gaskets, bolts, details, wiring, stuff like that's all in here, ready to go. And if you needed to put a cooler and a couple chairs in there, you could do that too. All right, so you're walking up to your mean machine, right? You're saying, wow, I can't believe this car is mine. It looks so nice. However, where you're gonna spend most of your time is inside. Everybody else is gonna see the outside and hear the outside. I want you to see inside here a lot, a lot of money spent as well. All right, little things like Full custom dash in here with the carbon fiber upgraded gauges. Pioneer digital sound system with these custom molded door panels in here, right? A lot of people are overlooking these things. These are custom seats, custom door panels, custom package tray, right? The back of this all is done too. The console here has been redone. This has a custom shifter and the shifter is awesome. Like here's how it works, right? You put it in gear and you pull, let's say you decided today you wanted to race a little bit, right? You put it down in the first gear. The shifter is great in the sense that when you want to hit second gear, you just push it as far as you want. Won't go any farther. Let it go, hit it for third, let it go and so on and so on, depending on how many speeds you have in your transmission, it works out really, really nice. You can't make a mistake, it's super cool. This has got tilt wheel, right, tilt wheel. Uh, the stereo we talked about, this has vintage air and the sound system's all right here. And uh, if you decide that you wanna take a friend with you, uh, you can always uh, ask somebody to come along for the ride. <laughs> He just loves cars, man. So uh, Steel is making his debut. Just wanted to say hello to everybody and uh, hopefully you like dogs, but he won't be in here for, for a second. If you don't like dogs, we'll make sure that uh, there's no dog remnant, of course, uh, but he is only in here for just a second because he's a very nice boy and he does love to cruise in cars. All right, so we closed up this video. We are talking about uh, a lot of details and a lot of money spent along the way. And let me just take a second and run down that for you. An engine alone, 383 Stroker is a great engine. A lot of power, a lot of money spent there. The engine compartment was beautifully detailed. The paint is fabulous, we saw that. Four wheel disc brakes, custom suede interior, uh, the digital sound system, air conditioning, like all of these little things that make for uh, a significantly better car than maybe it started life as before. And this is the way to buy them. You know why? Because all the hard work's been done and you can start to enjoy it right away. Anyway, Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this Pro Touring Camaro. If you don't mind, please uh, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. I think that you'll see we have some new content coming out all the time and share this with your friends. I think they would like it as well. And I'll see you later.